uh, dear students welcome to lecture 32 uh, we will discuss uh, protected areas of pakistan uh, two as we discussed in the previous lecture uh, what are protected areas uh, the history of protected areas uh, and then we started uh, national parks so today we will proceed the same topic today's lecture outline we will discuss protected areas of pakistan we will discuss national parks we will discuss Lal Sohana National Park, Hazar Ganji Chiltan National Park, Khunjrab National Park, Margara Hills National Park, Chinji National Park, Durain Hingol National Park, Ayubia National Park, and Chitral Gold National Park. Lecture outcomes. So, after watching and listening to this lecture, uh, students will know about the general characteristics and the wildlife or wild fauna and flora of La Sohana National Park, Hazar Ganji Chiltan National Park, Hunjurab National Park, Margala Hills National Park, Chinji National Park, Durain Hingol National Park, Ayubia National Park, and Chitral Gold National Park. Oh, let's start with the La Sohana National Park. Uh, this park spread over a uh, total area of 3,868 hectares. This park is located 32 kilometers northeast of Bahawalpur in southern Punjab. It was declared a national park in 1972. And the main objectives of uh, this park was to save a black buck. So uh, this was the prime objective of this uh, park to save uh, black buck also uh, some other species uh, including chinkara and some other important species so actually the reintroduction of black buck started in 1970s with the help of wwf and uh, the population has now reached uh, to about 150 animals and maybe the number is now more because this is an old data so maybe the number is um, um, more now with the successful introduction of black buck other wildlife of the area like uh, hog deer chinkara neil guy and indian rhinoceroses have also been introduced into this park black bucks chinkara neil guy uh, they, they, they are all have been kept in enclosure for safe breeding actually uh, we keep uh, endangered animals and safe enclosures for safe breeding for uh, like uh, for safety measures uh, so that they can breed uh, freely and they can increase their population and when it increase uh, their population then we reintroduce them into the wild uh, for the con uh, construction of wire enclosures uh, like uh, as we discussed that they, they have a breeding cage uh, and enclosure uh, and their enclosure uh, for the construction of that enclosure uh, wire netting of 70 kilometer long and 4 meter high was constructed which were uh, like donated by the children of Hall, uh, Holland uh, by, the, uh, by the appeal of uh, WWF so WWF they appealed to the children of Holland and they uh, donated and uh, from that donation we constructed that enclosures uh, a conspicuous uh, feature of this park is the variety of ecosystems not found in any other national park of the country this park has an artificially irrigated uh, uh, forest plantation of about 20,974 acres uh, the desert and the arid zone take up uh, for uh, 10,000, uh, sorry, one lake, uh, 1,726 acres. And there is a big lake, about uh, 50,000 acres in the area, uh, which is choked with the aquatic weeds. I mean, it is full of aquatic weeds. Uh, so, as uh, we told in the previous slide, uh, that uh, uh, this ecosystem uh, unique feature is, uh, is because uh, this 
park has uh, more than one type of ecosystem. So there is a forest ecosystem there, there is a desert ecosystem inside it and there is a pond ecosystem. So a lake is there. So this um, uh, uh, park is actually very unique because of the presence of different ecosystems. There are uh, 27 species of reptiles. There are three species of amphibians and there are 23 species of freshwater fish in this park. Uh, the bulk of wildlife is comprises of uh, like there are black bucks um, as the purpose of the park was to um, uh, increase uh, up to healthy population the population of black buck. Uh, Chinkara, Nilgai, there is Karakilkates, uh, there are Jekas, there are wild boars are there, there are Hubra busters or Hubara busters, herons are there, cranes are there in this park, there are pea fowls, uh, sand grouse, millard ducks are there, uh, black and grey partridges are there and quails are also found in this Uh, the park has a few tourist uh, huts. There is a helipad inside this park. Uh, there, is, there is an observation tower in this park, and uh, camping sites and, and information center is also present in this park. It uh, also uh, has a playground or a playland for children. Uh, there is a small zoo uh, in which the main attractions are two and rhinos, which were gifted from Nepal. Another park is uh, Azar Ganji Chiltan National Park. Uh, this park is located approximately uh, 20 kilometers southwest of Quetta. This park was established in 1978 by merging uh, Hazar Ganji State Forest and Chiltan State Forest. So, by merging Hazar Ganji State Forest and Chiltan State Forest, Hazar Ganji Chiltan National Park was established. Uh, the main objective of uh, this uh, Zarganji Chiltan National Park was to uh, like uh, provide protection to Chiltan Marhor uh, uh, Kepra Falconeri Ch Chiltaniensis which is at present level is critically endangered. Other animals in the park are there are wolves uh, there are hyenas, there are wild cats, there are hares and porcupines in this park. The, among birds, there are sisi partridge and chakor. These are the most uh, conspicuous. <coughs> in the breeding season, um, you can find here warblers, shrikes, rock nuthatch, rock pigeons. Uh, you will find them nesting in the races of boulders. Boulders are actually uh, uh, small uh, round uh, stones. Yeah, I have to explain it so easily that the small small big big stones are on the edge of the river. Or in a small small big stones are on the edge of the river. Or in a small small big stones are on the edge of the river. The races mean that uh, the edge of the river is on the edge of the river. They nest in the races of the boulders. Among the birds of prey, there are eagles, uh, there are falcons, there are bearded vultures, hawks. These are the regular visitors to the park. Reptiles of uh, this park are represented by uh, monitor lizards, geckos, uh, cobras and vipers are there. Uh, among the trees, uh, there are almond trees wild ashes, uh, wild olives and pistachios are common in this park. Uh, Juniper uh, or pencil cedar and uh, shrubs like wild cherries and wild pigs are also abundant in this park. Uh, and during spring season uh, you can see tulips and poppies blooming in this park. Another Park as Khunjurab National Park. So this park spread over an area of uh, 
uh, 2 lakh or you can say 226-100,913 hectares. This is one of the highest national park in the world. Mean it uh, lies at the elevation of thousands of meters above the sea level. So it is uh, one of the highest national park in the world, the highest in Pakistan, but uh, it is also high, one of the highest national park in the world. Most of its area lies at an elevation of 4,000 meter above sea level. Uh, during winter season, uh, most of the waterfall in the area freeze and uh, temperature remains below the freezing point. Uh, the main uh, purpose for the establishment of this park was to provide protection to Marco Polo sheep, to Beral, snow leopards and Himalayan ibex. In this picture, you can see uh, this is Marco Polo sheep, a very beautiful sheep, and this is Beral, uh, this is snow leopard, and this is Himalayan ibex. So, these uh, four animals are provided uh, protection in this uh, park, and the purpose of the establishment of this park was to provide protection to these four mammals. The Karakuram Highway passes uh, throughout uh, almost entire length of this park <clears throat> and it is possible to see wildlife while when you are traveling in a car or a jeep uh, so you can uh, see wildlife inside this park because uh, the whole Karakuram Highway it passes through the entire length of this park. Uh, but because of the continuous flow of the traffic as you can uh, see that wild animals they are too shy so uh, because of the traffic they, they, the traffic has negative effects on the wildlife so nowadays they uh, you cannot see them near the road because the traffic has uh, disturbed their life and they are very shy most of the wild animals they are very shy so now you cannot find a uh, wild animal anywhere near this road. The conspicuous wildlife of this park includes uh, snow leopard, uh, Marco Polo sheep, uh, Beral. Uh, there are wild ace, uh, which is known as Kyan. Um, it's uh, a donkey like animal, wild ace or Kyan. Uh, Himalayan ibex, brown bear. Snow cocks, snow partridges, and blackbirds are the wild fun of this region. Of this, Margala Hills National Park. The Margala Hills National Park comprises of northern hill ranges of federal capital of Islamabad. Uh, having area of 12,000 hectares. The topography of uh, this national park uh, is very rugged and the elevation ranges from 550 meter to 1500 meter from sea level. The park has a very rich lush green vegetation. Uh, the principal uh, plant species present in this park are <coughs> Dodonia, Acacia, uh, Olea, Caressa, Aristida, Erythoda, Themeda, and Cynodon, and Penistrum. So these are the common uh, plant species present in this national park. The common <coughs> wild animals of this park are Gurals, 
रेसिस मंकीज चिंकारा देर आर कॉमन लीपर्ड्स फॉक्सेज आर देयर बार्किंग डियर आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन दिस पार्क the important bird life uh, of this region includes kaleej chir grey partridge black partridge and chakors chir once found in this area become nearly extinct in 1978 it uh, like reached the brink of an extinction in 1978 uh but it is now recently being reintroduced in this park with the help of wpa or you can say world pheasant association and their number is now uh, like increasing um another important national park is uh chinji national park so oh, this park actually covers an area of uh, 6095 hectares uh this park is located in the salt range uh, about 30 km from talagang uh, district chakwal uh, here the annual rainfall is about 54 cm This park was uh, proposed mainly uh, to protect and preserve uh, urials uh, in Urdu uh, urial uh, the hills uh, are criss crossed by a number of torrents uh, torrents uh, urdu mein kahenge ke jab barishein hoti hain aur wo tez nadiyan behti hain pahadon ke upar se aur pahadon mein wo रस्ते बनाए हुए होते हैं पानी ने तेज पानी ने जब तेज बारिश होती है तो उसको टोरेंट कहते हैं सो दीज टोरेंट्स नंबर ऑफ क्रिस क्रॉस टोरेंट्स ऑन दीज हिल्स दे एड और दे सप्लाई वाटर टू रिवर सोन द रिवर इट सेल्फ इवेंचुअली फॉल्स इन टू इंडस इट इज अ ट्रिब्यूटरी यू कैन से ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ रिवर एंड so uh, this area is very important and interesting uh why it is interesting uh, because of the paleontological point of view oh, and you should think why it is uh, important uh, because of paleontological point of view uh can you think why yes uh, because uh, because of high salt uh concentration in this area uh, you know one of the preservative medium is salt so it is uh, why it is important uh, from a paleontological point of view because a number of fossils uh, is present there or present there why because uh, salt concentration is more and uh, fossilize uh, for fossilization one of the very important medium is salt so because a number of spectacular fossils uh, have been collected uh, from here from this park because of the presence of constant high concentration of salt it is one of the good medium for fossilization uh, this park uh, is the natural habitat of the punjabi urial chinkara ghazal uh, wild boar uh, civets civet is a cat like animal uh carnivore uh, wild hare are there mongoose are also present here and porcupines are also present in this park dorain hingon national park so the two separate protected areas uh, namely uh, dorain uh, having an area of 165 100700 hectares uh, they have recently been merged together Uh, to form a big national park the durain hingol national park uh, this park stretches over the coastal areas of balochistan sin ibex uh, urial and chinkara are the more uh, most important wild animals which have been provided protection in this park so these are the animals 
uh, which have been provided protection in this national park uh, in Ibex, Urial, and Chenkara. Another national park is a Ayubia National Park. This park is uh, spread over an area of uh, 1,684 hectares and it is located in Abtabad, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The important wild uh, animals are common leopard, rhesus monkey, uh, coclas, and college pheasants are also present in this park. Uh, then there is a Chitral Gol National Park. So this park covers an area of 7,780 hectares. It is located in the Hindu Kush ranges west of Chitral. This park was proposed to protect Marfor from prosecution by the local people. And uh, Alhamdulillah, the number of Marfor is now raised to a very healthy population. Uh, the wildlife of this park comprises of Marhor, Urials, Snow Leopards, Snow Cock, Snow Partridges, Greenwood Pigeons and Chakors. These are the references. Thank you so much uh, for watching and listening to the lecture. Um, in the end, I will tell you uh, that you have to uh, download, search all the pictures and images of all those animals uh, who we discussed in the today lecture. You have to make a gallery of them. You have to download all those pictures. And in the next uh, lecture, inshallah, we will discuss um, game reserves. We will discuss wildlife sanctuaries and we will discuss Ramsar sites or wetlands. Thank you. Take care.